Hi everyone, thanks for watching this. Um, you probably know that I'm a keen advocate of uh, automatic uh, probing and wireless probes, but I've never yet actually shown what you use these things for, so I've come up with this fairly simple demonstration. Um, suitably enough, what we're doing is part of the manufacture of the uh, housings that mount on the side of the probe to convert them to wireless. Um, the main bodies are machined already and what I have to do here is put a little opening for a micro USB connector on each side. Um, they're small enough to put two of them in a four inch jaw simultaneously. So what I'm going to do is uh, run them as two separate um, work offsets and we'll get the probe to do the probing automatically. Now, I hope you can just about see if I jog this into a more reasonable position. Yeah, you should be able to see the two of them sitting there now. Um, <coughs> the cam's all done in Fusion 360 and the work um, offset origin is supposed to be in the middle of that edge there and that edge there. Slightly unusual place to put it, but not an issue if you're uh, doing the probing automatically. So really all I have to do is jog the thing more or less into position. Um, Take that jog rate down a notch. So really doing nothing more than just eyeballing it. That's not too bad a position for X and Y. And that's within a millimetre or so for a vertical axis. So I'll set my origin just there. One, two, three. And we'll switch to G55. And really all I'll have to get right then is the X axis. Oh, that'll do for G55. And that's really all the setup we have to do. So at that point, I will press the cycle start button. There we go. First thing it's going to do is select the probe. I'll now go and refine G54. Firstly, by practically probing for the top. And that's going to probe for the corner. Now, I know the origin is not at the corner, but Fusion knows exactly how far away the true origin is from where that corner is found. So that's the G54 coordinate system refined. Now it goes and does the same for G55. The two or, uh, coordinate systems set, we're now ready to do the machining, so off it goes. optimizing the tool changes by keeping the same tool um, but alternating between one workstation and the next.
and that's us finished. Before making more of these, I could just drop them into the vice in the same places and hit the cycle start again. No need to do any additional setup. Thanks for watching. I hope that was interesting.